It's 4.45. I'm going to eat my breakfast. This is what I'm going to eat. Okay, I just finished making my grocery list. Um, now I'm going to eat my breakfast in the dark living room. So I'll come back when I'm going to get ready. So, hey guys, my room is a little bit of a mess, especially right there. Um, it's like 5.30. I usually start getting ready by now. Uh, I kind of have to hurry sometimes because I spend a little too much time on my phone and I still have to make my lunch and go to work because I have to be at work at 6, so. Um, in the mornings, I don't do a lot with my skin. Um, I'm going to use this, the Ordinary Caffeine my eyes um, when dries. It's supposed to help with puffiness and dark circles. So you can see me right there now. Just a little bit. I'm probably gonna get a Starbucks today to be honest because it's 6 a.m. Probably gonna get one tomorrow too. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I do. And I'm gonna curl some pieces of my hair that look really ugly. Um, I'm just gonna do this a little bit. And just my front pieces a little bit just so it's like bit more volume or whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna do like a little bit. I'm very loosely doing this. Um, so yeah. yeah. I'm trying to be quiet. Like, I don't want it to be like too curly when it is right now. It's a little too curly. Looks like I did that myself. So unplug that no flyers here and brush her out brush her out okay that looks a lot better but this just looks too curled whatever it's fine it'll it'll like go looser later that looks kind of dumb on this side I'm full on it. Okay, I need to get dressed. Okay, I actually have to make my lunch and then leave. I'm running really late. Um, it's 5.50. I have to be at work in 10 minutes. Um, this little OOTD. Um, got this beach sweatshirt I made. Black leggings. Some old Faber Maxes I thrifted. And the typical Kroger uniform. Bam. Guys, I'm actually um, finally leaving for work. I'm on my way. Um, you can barely see me. Um, I know that. I'm just gonna talk for a little bit in the dark. Um, so I didn't bring a drink today because I plan on getting Starbucks. I'm kind of awake now. I don't really know if I'm gonna get Starbucks. Um, I don't really ever finish a venti. I'm pro I'm, I don't even want a pumpkin spice. I want an ice white chocolate, a mocha. Um, so yeah, I am, if you don't know, I work at Kroger. We have a Starbucks at my Kroger. So anytime during work, I can literally go get a drink from Starbucks. I can literally get any drink that I want, just in general, just because I work at a grocery store. I live like 10 minutes away from my work. And so I'm leaving pretty late. It's 5.55, I have to be there in five minutes. So I'm always late to work, to be honest. Um, if you're my boss and you see this, no, you didn't. Um, yeah. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm kind of awake, kind of living right now. I'm actually in a really good mood. Um, 
so yeah by the time I get off work I'm probably gonna be in an anger mood because then they're gonna make me do one more ticket so this is the day of, in the life of an essential worker during the freaking pandemic um, I will update when I go on break I'm going on break around like 10 10 30 or something uh, it just kind of depends probably 10 maybe 10 30 I don't know. one of those times I don't know um, I will update give you some stories because um, there are crazy people that are rude and everything um whoa all, all right Ooh, oh, scary looking guy walking across the street um all right <laughs> okay um i'm gonna hang up with some of my california girls and i'll update when i come back from break hey guys i am on break it's 10:30. Like 1040, I mean. Um, so I came back with the story, as promised. I think. I don't know. And so, guess what happened? It's 7 a.m. I get to work at 6. And oh, I love my hair. I get to work at 6 and I'm in produce. No. So I do grocery pickup. Okay? So I grocery shop. I got this huge freaking trolley that's bigger than just the regular grocery carts, you know? And you know, that's whatever. I try not to park in anybody's way when I'm in an aisle. I try to be out of the way so I'm not an inconvenience. And um, I was in this aisle. It's got like a refrigerated side and a dry goods side. And I was parked against the refrigerated doors because it was only me and my coworker in the aisle at the time. And this man and his wife pull up. And he parked in front of my trolley. And they go to where they need to go. Like, the wife is like, oh, yeah, I found what we were looking for. And it, I wasn't in the way of it at all. And I was like, okay, cool. I turn around and I go get some coconut milk. I come back. This man is moving my trolley, touching my stuff, you know, like says, get, get your nasty hands off my stuff. Get your nasty hands off my trolley. And I don't expect anybody to know. I don't like my stuff being touched, you know, but I figured customers, especially right now with Corona going on and everything, I figured they would have a little bit of common sense to where, oh, there's a pandemic. I'm not going to touch anybody's carts stuff. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know what germs I have. I don't know what germs you have. Like, come on. So anyways, he moves my trolley like really aggressively. He almost hits me with it. And I'm like, bruh, when my, my coworker literally watched this happen, he looks at me and he's like, and I'm like, <sighs> so then I'm like, whatever. He's probably not going to do it again. Probably going to go to a different side of the store. I'm not going to see him for the rest of the day. So I go to produce and i'm doing my thing i park there's the watermelon section there's like four watermelon pallets and then there's a case there's like a case right next to it and i parked at the case because there's really the only thing on the case is like little watermelons and cantaloupes and you can get to that from another side and there was enough room to get a watermelon like where i parked and so I turn around, get some lettuce, come back. This guy is moving my trolley again. So I was like, it's okay, sir. I can move it myself. And he's like, okay, well, you're just in the way. And I'm like, like, you're in the way too. And I don't say anything. I didn't actually say that. I probably should have, to be honest. And he, go he goes, you're just in the way. And I'm like, okay, I, well, I try to park out of the way of everything so everyone can get to and from whatever they need to do. And so can I. And he goes, well, you you need to move. Like, you're just, what did he say? Crap, I'm going blank. Like, I figured he would know. I figured he would know not to touch anybody's stuff. How would you feel if someone came and moved your cart? You wouldn't like it very much, would you? Exactly. That's why I don't touch anybody's stuff. I know it's different if one of like my coworkers moves the trolley because I, I know I know you know like a customer is just rude about it you know like if I were to move somebody else trolley I would have been like oh sorry like I was gonna move this real quick I'll move it back and so would everybody else um 
usually customers are like, hi, can I like squeeze past real quick so I can get this? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Um, but this guy goes, yeah, but you're in the way, so I moved it. I'm like, okay, I get that. I try to park out of the way so we can all vibe together and everything. Um, so everyone can get to and from where they need to go. And what did he say after? Oh, he said, I don't need to be having this conversation with you. So you need to get back to work and do your job and mind your own business. Who are you to tell me to get back to work? Who are you to tell me to get back to work? What even is your name? Who even are you? I don't know who you are. Exactly. And so I was like, okay, well, if you didn't know, we are in the middle of a pandemic and I don't know what germs you have. So I really would appreciate it if you just wouldn't touch my trolley, you know? And he's like, oh, it's not me that has the germs. Like, sir, you look like you haven't showered in two weeks. You look like a dirty freaking toe, okay? If anybody has it, it's probably you because you're dirty. You look like you smell. You smell so bad I can smell it through my mask. Don't tell me that I have it. You know, I mean, to be honest, I probably do. I might. I probably have had it. I work at a grocery store. So, yeah. Yeah. I went off. All my coworkers were telling me, go you, Ashley. Go you. And I was like, thank you. They're all like, he deserved it. And I'm like, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I was shaking so bad after. I was like, I was probably going to cry. But I was like, he deserved it. He really did. Because I was nice at first. And I'm always nice at first. But if you start being rude and get an attitude with me, then yeah, I'm going to get an attitude with you too. So yeah. Once that first thing came out of my mouth, I wasn't expecting to say that. Once it came out of my mouth, I was like, oh shoot. It's about to go down. So yeah. I'll, call, I'll come back after work. Hey guys, I just got off work. I'm going to Walmart now. I'm actually on my way to Walmart because I need to get some mirror clips so I can hang up those mirrors in my room. Um, my grocery store that I work at, we don't sell any at all. Um, so I'm, I get to go to Walmart for that. Definitely probably gonna look around at other things because I mean, I don't really know. So yeah. So this is what I got at work. I got this iced passion tea. Okay. Like an herbal tea. And then I got this chai tea. It was two for seven. So I got that. And I also got almond milk. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. this is the hole so I went to Walmart for two things I needed dog poop bags I got eight of them and I needed these to hold a mirror I got two because I have two mirrors Does everything that I needed and then I found this in that same aisle so I got this so I can hang it up on my wall put my mask put my keys and everything semi approved hello baby and then semi really likes this but it's not for him I got a body pillow with how long it is it's very fluffy very soft and he wants it no you cannot I'm sorry. Mine. And then I got this and these. A little sweat set. Probably gonna bleach tie this. And then I got this white, just mock neck. Good for all. Very cute. Cute, cute, cute. There it is. And then I got it in red. Yes, adorable. That's all.
I did not vlog at all the rest of the night. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go to bed. Um, I did some schoolwork and that's about it. We did take Samson to the dog park for a little bit and he had fun. Um, so yeah. But I'm going to go to bed. I'm very tired. I have to wake up at 4.30 again tomorrow because I get to go to work at 6 a.m. again. Yes. Mm. Alright. Goodbye. Mm.